Buongiorno. Welcome. I welcome you to Count Estrada. <laughs> okay. Here we are. <laughs> Front. I know. I need to shave. I need to comb, brush, shower. I know I need to shave this side of me. Glasses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stubby stub. Archie eyebrow. Hmm? 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 Want a sword dance? Okay. Hmm. Why? Because clarity, sanity, and reality has to finish off the very last strands and stains of deflection, delusion, denial, and insanity that refuses to accept and acknowledge and embrace what is clearly mirror reflected back, whether it's through the screen of this personal computer or a mirror in the bathroom and through sight and vision granted by God. The end. Okay. Vlog number four. So, um, I saw this person at a bar in Arlington, Virginia, uh, on Wilson Boulevard called Kitty O'Shea's. It's no longer there. It has since been demolished and removed from existence. He could barely walk or stand. He was so plastered. But I was there for him, looked out for him. Ends up, he became my direct link to the former personal drummer of Prince. I literally got linked to Prince's former personal drummer, because when this guy could barely stand up and reach into his own pocket for his wallet, I helped him so that he wouldn't fall out of the stool. And I said, look, man, like you could get robbed, dude. So I'm going to, I'm going to roll with you. And then we're going to have the bartender call you a cab and you're going to go to where you need to go. Understand? He said, by the way, my name is, I won't name him. So what do you do, man? And he was somewhat intoxicated. I, I, I don't drink. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't do narcotics. I don't take pharmaceutical pills. I don't drink alcohol anymore, period. Okay. Unless it's a super, super, super rare special occasion. I may have some champagne or white wine, preferably Chardonnay. I'm not saying no to that, but all the other stuff, arrivederci, au revoir, finito, al fin. Okay, so, um, well, you know, I'm a father, you know? I mean, come on now, what kind of example am I gonna set? So, He's slightly intoxicated. I know. It's incredible how I got linked to the former drummer of Prince's New Power Generation. Who then became Prince's personal drummer. Who then co-produced the only other number one album Prince ever had other than Purple Rain, of course. 3121 that was released in 2006. Okay. Michael Bland. Uh, referred to as Mike B. Um, when he was the drummer of the new power generation um, for Prince, his purple majesty. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm not going to get started on Prince because this will turn into a one hour video log. Do I need to, do I need to, do I need to embellish the name of Prince? I think it just speaks for itself. Can we all agree on that? Okay. 
So, and his musical godlike genius. Okay. Yeah. So let's not turn this into like a marathon video log. <laughs> I'm telling myself this. So, um, so basically, um, he was intoxicated and he's like, Hey, what do you do? Are you an artist? I go, yeah. So blah, blah, blah. He goes, I'm directly linked to Prince's former drummer. He says, I'm from Minnesota and so is my uncle. My uncle was a part of a band out of Minnesota called Trip Shakespeare. I said, okay. I said, I saw that sticker once at CBGB's. He said, yeah, they toured. I said, okay. I can't believe I just mentioned that name. Only this one time, okay? I allowed it to happen. I, I don't buy into this author's existence. I don't, okay? So, so then, so then he links me to Mike B, Michael Bland, and his company out of a nearby suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, and this, um, no, I, that whole like King Arthur and Shakespeare to me is just all crap. Just like the whole United Kingdom thing to me is ridiculous, absurd, preposterous, and comical and tragic. Yeah, I said it. So anyway, um, so I'm linked to this former personal drummer of Prince and the new power generation. He was the drummer on one of my favorite albums that I listened to constantly and repeat repeatedly. Um, in the early 90s, when I was in the army, stationed in Mannheim, Germany, D the Diamonds and Pearls album. I loved that album. I blasted that album at the top of my $3,000 multi layered stereo system back then. And, and it was Mike B on drums. That album is certified diamond and sold 13 million records worldwide. So, Um, check this out. This is funny. So the same guy says, I'm also linked to the lead singer of the one hit band, semi sonic called closing time. I'm, I'm not, I'm congested and clear right now. But it's closing time. Do, 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 do. Right. That one. So. I think his name is Dan Wilson. Ch check the difference out. So my direct link sends my demo to Prince's former personal drummer of the 13 million album selling Diamonds and Pearls album for the new power generation who co-produces Prince's number one album 3121 of 2006. And may I add, now plays drums for Soul Asylum. A runaway, a runaway train now. Right. Something like that. Like you wouldn't need the instrumentation. But long story short, Dan Wilson of Semisonic goes, Does this man, does this guy even play any instruments? This sounds like something a teenager would do out of a garage. Wait. So then he shares it with Prince's former personal drummer who played drums on an album that sold 13 million records and was certified diamond. And Mike B says to my link, I like what I'm hearing here. I like, I like, I like, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot of great potential here, but he needs to turn me, he needs to turn, but when he, when he has a demo where these aren't just rough tracks, but complete songs, a demo, and that's what a demo is. A demo is not just the, yes, it's a demo of rough tracks, but it's not a complete demo. It's not a complete demo unless they're beginning to end songs with instrumentation, vocals, 
verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, out row. He says, when he has, when he takes this and has that, send it back to me. I want to hear it. But there's great potential here. That was from Prince's former personal drummer. Um, and I think it's hilarious. This man was Prince's, he was the personal drummer of the quintessential musician of our time. And yet this guy who produced the two number one songs for Adele that catapulted her career. I don't even remember the names of them and produced the song, a hit song for pink thought he was so this and that, that he talked about my rough trucks the way he did. I just think it's a funny story. So, um, anyway, here I am now surrounded by 800 living legends, stars, superstars, icons, executives, moguls, the rest and more. I'm still Facebook friends with Michael Bland. He is still Facebook friends with me. Um, and, um, I look forward to him and I talking after he checks out my singing and rapping and beat making and melody making, because he'll already remember me from our link sharing my rough truck original, my demo of rough trucks of rough truck originals with him. But that was from the former personal drummer of the one in the only Prince. All right. Thank you. Uh, Michael Bland, you'll be hearing from Jorge Estrada, DC, D. Sir Mutatio Formula soon enough. Oh, one other thing. Hmm. Over the last several years, since 2019, um, while I was watching Purple Rain here on this smart TV screen behind me, I got a bling on my phone via Instagram Direct. So I'm staring at my 46 inch screen smart TV and it's the scene when Prince and the revolution go on stage before they jump into the beautiful ones and Moore's day of the time just had Apollonia Catero of Apollonia six sit down at the dining table with them because they're about to have dinner. They're out on a date. As soon as that scene kicks in, and Prince, portraying the character of the kid, jumps on the piano. I hear a bling on my phone. I'm not making this up. Bling! I happen to have the volume at max. So, like, what? Bling! I said, okay, let's see who this is. I look, it was Apollonia Catero herself while I was watching that scene on the TV screen. Can you imagine? So then Apollonia, so then Apollonia and I, we corresponded throughout most of 2019. In that time, Susanna Melvoin, uh, Wendy Melvoin of the Revolution's twin sister learned of me, um, reacted favorably to multiple of my comments um, she was Prince's ex-fiance. Prince actually wrote the song, The Beautiful Ones, for her, about her, that he dedicated to her when they were engaged together. Right. Um, so The Beautiful Ones by Prince and the Revolution was written by Prince about Wendy's twin sister, Susanna Melvoin. And Susanna Melvoin was the co-lead vocalist of Princess Paisley Park record label group called the Family Deluxe or the Family. Now I think they're called the Family Deluxe. And um, Susanna Melvoin did background vocals for Roger Waters of Pink Floyd. And I think her first professional job was granted by Quincy Jones of Thriller, the highest selling album of all time. Because I think he asked her, he hired her to provide background vocals for the legendary James Ingram. Um, so, um, who also wrote 
uh, the song Pretty Young Thing, PYT, for the Thriller album, highest selling album of all time, 70 million records sold. Um, so then I believe that the revolution learned of me on their official verified page, um, as did Wendy and Lisa, i.e. Wendy Melvoin and Lisa Coleman. And I've been planning to reach back out to Wendy and Lisa and to the revolution and to Su Susanna Melvoin. Um, but, you know, I just, I had to document and product package all this. And then my headquarters had two back-to-back -back floods that did not destroy one single item in here. No lie. Uh, there's more to that. There were possibly multiple floods that were directed at this headquarters of mine from the outside, inside here. Um, these are very realistic, strong possibles um, that most likely will get addressed towards having an investigation conducted to reach what's called prosecutorial merit so that this stands in front of a judge in the courthouse building of this county and state. Mm. So anyway, and then there were other matters um, that I had to deal with that were private and personal that came at me. Um, and then the Corona, bam, was here. And then that took over. So here I am now at the end of this. This is exciting. Um, so I want to give a shout out to Susanna Melvoin. You'll be hearing back from me soon. Uh, to your sister, Wendy, to Lisa, Lisa Coleman, to the revolution, um, Brown Mark, Bobby, uh, Bobby Z, Doc, um, and, um, you know, I'm definitely going to reach back to you, Mike B, of the new power generation. Um, and I think at one point I was even being followed back on Instagram by the official verified page of Paisley Park which is the actual compound estate of Prince Rogers Nelson um, in Chanhassen, Minnesota, uh, next to outside of Minneapolis where he died. So I had even entertained the thought of going there one day, um, but it's just too much for me to handle. I'm, I'm one person, okay? Um, so we'll see. Um, other than that, Prince, May you rest in everlasting power, genius, magnificence, prestige, and glory. Uh, you really are and will always be one of a kind. There will never be another person like you on this earth ever again. All right. Jorge Estrada, DCD Sermutatio Formulae.